Hello, and welcome to another episode of Renegades React. This is the video that you are looking for. Uh, just going to say that. I mean, this is the video you're looking for, especially if you want to watch uh, epic epic reactions to epic videos. and On an epic channel with epic hosts. Yeah. Three this time. We can have up to five, but we choose three because we don't want to blow your minds too much. Because <laughs> we want to maintain a good fan base. I mean, heck, if all your heads exploded, then what would the point be? So, Star Wars. Y'all have any history with that? I heard about it. A little bit. No. It was funny. This kid, like, I can't even remember who it was. He's like, didn't you go through, like, a Star Wars phase when you were, like, in school? And I was like, no. I'll be out of my Star Wars phase when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's, like it's also the truth. Like, yeah. You shut your mouth. Call yeah. Star Wars a phase. <clears throat> there is no Star Wars phase. There is life. And Star Wars is always a part of it. Right. Yeah. The Force surrounds us, it binds us, penetrates us. Mm-hmm. It's not a bunch of blood transfusions and midichlorians. <laughs> no, no, no. The Force is an unknown... Uh, that To me, I don't accept the metachlorian bullcrap. I, th- I accept the Force as some unknown thing that like people are blessed with. Like they say in the first with. movies. <laughs> yeah. It's an unknown Force that people are blessed with. Why couldn't you keep it a mystery? Why add metachlorians to it? Damn it, George Lucas. You simultaneously entice me with an infinite universe and you dash it away by ruining the biggest by ruining the biggest surprise in mm, in the worst fashion. Yep. I love you, but I hate you. Please come back. No wait. Stay retired. <clears throat> this is a reaction, not a rant. <laughs> that comes that comes later. Miss Misa love you too, Nate. No. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. No. Come here. He went there. Oh, yeah. I went there. Okay. All right. So the reason why we're talking about this is because during E3, there was a preview that was released for Star Wars The Old Republic, mm. Knights of the Fallen Empire. So <clears throat> Knights of the Fallen Empire is an expansion upon the uh, upon the Star Wars Old Republic. <clears throat> I played a little bit of it. It's very fun. It's by Bioware, the same people who did uh, the original Knights of the Old Republic and also the Mass Effect trilogy. So... I was I was very happy to hear that they were returning to this, and especially and especially in the Star Wars universe. <clears throat> so, we're going to watch the sacrifice trailer, which deals with two brothers. Uh-uh. <laughs> Is there a light like side a pain, and a dark side? You'll story. see. Oh, you'll no. see. You'll see. So, <clears throat> shall we begin? We shall. Yes. Okay. A man can have anything if he is willing to sacrifice. With your birth comes a solemn vow. You will have nothing. More troops! Over there! Yeah! <laughs> your privilege is the dirt. <laughs> Finds you. You will 
face it. Alone. Didn't really see that coming. Just got Darth Mauled. Actually, it was just a slash across the stomach, I think. It wasn't a full incision. But it's incision. like his eyes changed. That was the dark side taking over. As you've noticed, you remember when Anakin mm. started to turn his eyes. Right, his eyes are turning yellow. yellow. <clears throat> Oh Some no. Junk. Hmm. Cuz I totally thought the ones in Y would be good. <laughs> that, that's the switch up. That's right. that's what I like. I like it when they pull that. So how many years before because Knights of the Old Republic... <clears throat> it was set a thousand years before the mm -hmm. start of the of the Rebellion. Okay. So and how many years before the Rebellion is this? I think, well... Is it between... <clears throat> well, actually, I think it potentially might be... I think it might be after Knights of the Old Republic. I'm not sure, though. Because once, <clears throat> once peace is won, once you defeat Darth Malak at the end of Knights of the Old Republic, um, it... Well, Bioware wanted to elaborate on it, but when Mass Effect came along, they had to devote all their time mm. to it, and they weren't able to really expand on Knights of the Old Republic. But <clears throat> they, but Obsidian Entertainment, I think it was Obsidian, Obsidian Entertainment took over development for uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, in which Knights of the Old Republic 2 was pretty good, but it was lacking in a lot of the storytelling that, <clears throat> that people loved from Knights of the Old Republic. So now that <clears throat> now that they have full control back of the Star Wars uh, Old Republic, I I think that this is going to be I think it's going to be set after the Old Republic's storyline. So I think it will be set around <clears throat> between eight to five hundred years before. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean they they've kept this in the dark. I mean. They they announced Kingdom Hearts 2 and there's no release date yet. They announced this about a week ago and the release date's in October. They've kept this a secret for a long time and they've been and they've done a daggone good job of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, So how come like the technology never really changes? Well, I like, think you kind of think like okay, that's a thousand years ago. If you turn our clocks back a thousand years, yeah, we're like that would kind of be. Yeah, we're building pier. Yeah, we're we're killing hundreds of slaves, building pyramids. Well, presumably, presumably the tech you like hit a plateau, I, think, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, it's always my understanding in like the old Republic that was like the height of technology, and yeah. it kind of downgraded a little bit. So towards like the actual canon movies, they're in a little bit of a depression. Mm -hmm. because, and that's why the X wing and the Y wings all look a little haggard. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you look at yeah. the Naboo fighters from Episode they're, One, yeah. they're sleek, they're they're cool, and all that. And you look at the X wings, and the X wings are still cool, but they look haggard. Yeah, well, because they're old, like yeah. they're ragtag. Yeah. Well, because you think it's like a decades long war across the entire galaxy, you know. Yeah, you use what's available, yeah. whether it's old or new. If it still flies, then it's still good. And it's just like the lightsabers. Lightsabers, there's no need to improve on them. They're freaking laser swords, man. <laughs> and 
I, I can like see there like an improvement I could prob- probably see is like uh is like something like like teaching, a control stick to teaching your soldiers how to aim. <laughs> <laughs> Stop shooting around them, you jackasses. <laughs> okay, but like the only improvement I could really see on a lightsaber would be something to increase the length or or decrease the length. I believe they do yeah. have those. They have a They had those in the comic Some books. of them, yeah. Some well, of them do they, have well, the I'm just saying, well, uh, in terms of gameplay, right? Like, mm-hmm. some, like you can like hold down like one of the shoulder buttons to like make it longer or shorter. Like, if you want to go short, then you can, and you want to do stealth missions, mm-hmm. then you can go short and pretty much turn it into um, an assassin's blade. It'd be nice if they could make a dark saber that doesn't give off an eerie glow, so you could like assassinate people. Yeah, well, they they had the black lightsaber in the Force Unleashed, which when I found that crystal, I was like, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I found yeah I found the black lightsaber crystal deal with it internet, um, <laughs> so okay. The story really intrigues me. Two sons, twins, two tw- uh, two I brothers. I guess only one of them is gonna be in it. <laughs> right. Well, I was gonna say it, you don't know that. I mean yeah, because right. I mean the, like the first son, the first son who got who, the first son got cut down the in the black in the black suit. Mm-hmm. And the white and the one in the white suit with the robotic with the prosthetics, he. <clears throat> I think what I think what it will be is uh the you choose the side you choose either the light the brother in white or the brother in black the brother in black has to come back and and fight back because they don't think he's dead because they've got prosthetics for like everything and, yeah. like he did get cut, cut in half apparently Darth Maul came back with like robo legs yeah. well like, well he didn't really get cut in half he got he didn't get bisected he just got sliced along the stomach no but Bar- Darth Maul did well oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Darth, okay. he did Darth, not when Darth Maul so, fell okay. it was like okay I'm boop. sorry sorry so if Darth Maul can make it so can he yeah. oh yeah I don't doubt it you you pretty much have to cut a Jedi's head off in order to in there order can, to kill them Ben can Kenobi be only can attest one. to that. Ben Kenobi can really attest to that, um, but yeah, it uh, it intrigues me the story, and I want to see where it goes. Can't wait to play it. Hopefully, I have a computer that can run it by then. And um, <laughs> uh, so much came out during E three. Ben's been gushing to me about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially he hasn't especially hasn't stopped about Fallout four. Right. Oh my gosh. But bottle caps, bottle caps, bottle caps. <laughs> there's a guy who actually turned it in, turned them all in already. Mm-hmm. He's he turned in like over two thousand bottle caps. What? And it it just amazes me just seeing that. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Renegades React. We thank you all for tuning in, and I'd like to thank the brothers here for uh, uh, for giving their input on Star <laughs> Wars. I mean, heck, I'm a Star Wars fan too. I mean. It, it's like he said, there is no stopping. There's no right. there's no phase. Didn't you go through a Star Wars phase? Oh no. No. I I went I went through life and Star and I and Star Wars was my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I went on I went on the ride and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Uh but we'll see you all later, Internet, and uh peace out. <laughs>